awaken. They say you lost your sense of self, your memory a clutch of forgotten strands, jumbled, fragmentary pieces of a puzzle askew. But memory loss is a sweet mercy when weighed against what you truly suffered. The truth, largely unsaid, is that you have long been unconscious, a breathing corpse beaten quite savagely into a coma state not unlike death, where your dreams are nothing more than a mass of dark ethereal fabric that drifts through a cavernous mind whose lights have dimmed to nothingness. Quiet and still you lay, a body mangled by the brutality of a confederation of nations. In silence they gaze intently at your unmoving form, each of them as fearful as the next of even the slightest movement on your part, for the stirring of function or the return of a modicum of consciousness in you might mean the end of their bitter rule. So they beg their deities to pull you wholly into the realm of the dead, but with each breath you draw, their plans are plunged deeper into the pit of futility. It is Yah who has left you in this state, a payment for your rebellion against him, wherein you sought your own deities and refused his perfect law. Yet within the fallow field of your heart, Yah has planted a seed that has yielded an abundant crop of sorrow for your sin. This sorrow has moved him to compassion and he regards your sleeping, broken form with a deep pity. Now your eyes are slowly gathering light as they open at his word, for Yah has called true Israel to Awaken, 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 awaken. Access the text for this poem or download the audio at kingdompreppers.org. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.